All right, this is Susan for SOC Aquatics. What I have found out about TDS. Here's my birthday present from Corona Ken, and it is a nice TDS 3 that also does temperature, so that's good also. Um, in the tub, they've been in here oh, a good week to 10 days now without any filtration. The TDS was about 356. I came over here to this tub that has new gravel substrate, a new filter, air bubbles, and it's holding the old box filter for the pond. Its TDS was right at 174. I did not take the TDS for this one, but the pond that is holding rainwater, the TDS was only 18. Wow. So, I am draining this water into that pond. It will overflow, okay? Because it was over half full with rainwater. So, when I get this 150 stock tub moved into place then I'm going to pump the water from the preformed pond into the 150 so right now I would have to drain this one and drain that one to move them so instead of placing the 150 straight across I'm thinking about putting it at an angle so wish me luck and I'll give you any updates. Okay, the 150 is set up, but there's no fish in it yet. I buffered it with baking soda because the pH was six. These two over here are in the seven range. So I've got two goldfish in here and I have six over here. They've been swimming around the uh, water flow there in spawning behavior. So I'm gonna have to move this board out of the way. I'm gonna have to scoop up some uh, duckweed temporarily to catch my goldfish but I'm going to let this filter catch up with the gravel that I added I'm going to let it clear for a little while and I'm going to let it buffer and I'm going to test the pH again before I actually add the goldfish don't want to stress them too much it's going down into the 30s tonight so I think they'll be okay it's not as deep as they're used to making sure there's no leakage this is just spill there's my uh, drain hole just in case I have to drain it and uh, this 20 over here is doing pretty good. Filter's a little clogged up with duckweed. I'll knock it loose in a minute. But, what you all think? I'll probably add some plants around it. I may do a water change in this one and angle it a little bit closer to the 150 but right now that's my setup I missed the preformed pond because of its shape but this will allow the goldfish to grow a little bit more they don't have the footprint that they have but they've got more depth
Okay. Second update. Susan for SLC Aquatics. Hashtag fish fam mom. Touching lives one fish at a time. <laughs> 